Hello everybody, um, welcome back to my channel No First Rule. Um, I was thinking to change the concept of the channel a little bit, um, since now I've shown you all only tricks and explained them, but I will also include some sleight of hand, some moves which are not so well known, but worth to learn it. Um, okay. The today's slide um, I'm going to teach you is called Miller's Table Pass. And it looks like this. So, let's say you have card selected, the nine of spades. I will, um, for the sake of the explanation, I will leave it face up. And the deck is cut. But after the move, the face up card. Um, ends up on the top of the deck. So what's happening actually? So when you cut, this is the original top half, and the bottom half goes on top of the deck, but it's not um, squared up. It's a little bit outjawed, like this. You see? Then with your right hand you grab the bottom part, and with your left hand um, you use your middle finger as the pivot point and with your first finger you just pinch it down so that the top packet can rotate. And you finish this movement until this position is reached. Okay. Remember this is still the original top, uh, top packet. Then with the cover of your left hand, you slide the bottom packet back to the bottom. So what's happening is this here. This packet is slide beneath the original top packet. Alright, so once again, out joked, position of the finger, middle finger as middle point, uh, as pivot point then the fourth finger, then you rotate. With your right hand you just grab the um, bottom packet, which is actually the original top packet. You finish this movement until you have reached this position, then you uh, pivot this up so that the original bottom packet can go back to the bottom. Alright, once again Line of spades, cut into the middle, but after the movement this is still on top. So uh, for streamlining this move, um, first you have to um, take into account the angle. So when you take it straight, straight they will see pretty clearly that you are out jogging and you, they will also see that you are um, pivoting um, both packets separately and they will see this movement. So what you do is you pivot the packet in a 45 degree angle right? then the pivoting move is also a little bit shortened because you have turned the deck already in 45 degrees. And then when you think um, the spectator on in the front cannot see those packets, then you can slide it back into the bottom. Okay, once again, like this. So when you have um, spectators more to, the, to your right, then you can turn your body as well more to the right and make it more invisible. Okay, The actual um, angle for this move is pretty good when you do it in a one fluid motion and when you do a little bit of talking and do it um, very casually then nobody will, will see that. It's a very very easy move, very mechanical. The mechanic itself is, is very um, effective 
and very easy to run. Just don't forget, now jog, then use your middle finger as the pivot point and pinch down with your fourth finger. Because when you don't pinch down, then this turning of th this packet will be a little bit more difficult. All right. So this is called Charlie Miller's Table Pass, also called Miller's Table Pass. You can read it, uh, it is explained in Die Vernon's um, Ultimate Secret of Card Magic. I think it was page 94. Have fun with it. Bye-bye.